Good afternoon everyone and welcome back to XCOM 2 on the PC. As usual, my name is Mike, otherwise known as the Gadget Addict, and I've just had a supply drop. Healthy amount of supplies, we can get Dr. Yamazaki, Colonel Sasaki, Sasaki rather. Let's see what we're going to have. Okay, alien facility construction imminent. So we can do, we can prevent new constructions happening. Rapid response. So that's guaranteeing all reinfo re guaranteeing reinforcements on all, all guerrilla ops for a month. Fuck. Infestation. Uh, oh, that's the one I'll want to stop. <laughs> right. Okay. Yes, accept. Let's go get some supplies. Wait, why did you go the long way around? Seriously. We're going to get the stasis suit in two days as well. Resistance communications facility okay. now operational. Carry on. Yep. And oh, here we go. A stasis suit. Just like the one we found the commander in. On the surface, yes. But in function, ah, commander, excellent. We can begin. It is no secret that Advent soldiers possess both human and alien genetic characteristics. Preliminary analysis led me to believe that this was the result of direct modifications made to a pre-existing human host. Prisoners, or perhaps even unwitting volunteers. See your local Advent recruiter today. However, the reality is something else entirely. The Advent troopers at the facility we discovered, including the specimen before you, were manufactured. Each soldier possesses a unique genetic code. Predominantly human, of course, but with some fragments left open. Left open for what? Whatever alien DNA Advent wishes to insert. Sectoid, Muton, even the species our soldiers refer to as Berserker. In all cases, human genetic material serves as a bonding agent, holding the strands together. Human material? You mean the stuff we found at the Black Side facility? Precisely. The key component in their soldier manufacturing process. So we've been fighting ourselves this entire time. In a way. But I believe there's more to it than that. The human DNA in this specimen bears one key difference from the entirety of the sequences decoded in the shadow chamber. Psionic sensitivity. Given the sheer volume of strands involved, this cannot be accidental. Screening process at the clinics. Avatar. The potential power of a being created with this template is significant. Central. Had we not intercepted it before the process was completed. I know, Doctor. Continue your research. Let us know if you find anything else. Holy shit. Okay. <laughs> Ugh. Having already suspected the material being produced at the first black site was directly tied to the aliens' operations at the Forge facility, isn't it entirely surprising to me we've now discovered this apparent product of these efforts? Presented in some form of stasis containment suit similar to the appearance in appearance of that which we found at the commander, the subject is vaguely humanoid in form. The physical similarities aren't as readily apparent beyond first impressions, as the specimen appears to be in an incomplete state which I initially theorized could be the result of an elab elaborate cloning operation. Unfortunately, having completed an extensive analysis of the DNA and genetic structure, I believe clones would have been the lesser concern. What we've actually recovered is a foundation, the structure upon which a new life form could be built, assuming that we hadn't disrupted the process. Knowing what we do about the aliens' activities of the Black Side is my unfortunate conclusion that the human captives, be they prisoners or ab abductees, were processed and consumed as part of the development of the specimen. Notably, the human genetic material involved in this process comes from the more psionically sensitive members of the human population, no doubt intentional culling carefully executed by Advent's forces. Regardless, one question remains, what is the missing component? What is intended to fill the genetic void that would have brought this creature to life? Fucking hell. Right, do we have we have no pr projects remaining for that? Can Commander? we assign any research? Right, we have no research to do right now. I had fully expected to find that the aliens were conducting questionable experiments involving human captives at the black site we raided with the help of local resistance operatives. What we did find. No, oh, sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt that. Commander, we've located one of their facilities. 
Okay, view facility. Right, okay, so that's down in South Africa. Okay, we can't get that yet. Okay, fly back to Resistance HQ. Sector 14, East Asia. See if there's anything worth buying. <coughs> oh, really sorry about that. Welcome, Commander. Okay, so we got a scientist or a sharpshooter. They have the same face. <laughs> uh, we'll take a scientist. Because we can always do with getting the research times down. Right, let's go to engineer and see if there's anything I can spend Hello, my hard earned money on. Actually, proven ground first. Uh, I think I said I wanted to do the war suit. The wraith suit? Oh, I'm not really sure what to do. I could do an exosuit. By harnessing the power of Lyra, it may be possible to create a new type of heavy powered armor capable of gener generate a defensive force field not unlike those used on alien craft. Sounds yeah, why not? It's only 50 supplies. As soon as the project is ready for deployment. Okay. Hey, Commander. Now let's go down to engineering, build items, weapons. Right, okay, we'll do a Siam because we're going to have a Sai agent coming out. We could get the fusion blade. Items. In fact, no, we're going to do another blue screen rounds. And a proximity mine. Which will come in handy on future missions. Right, okay, now we need to find something to do. Right, okay. So we kind of... We want to do this mission. Elite Officer Elite Trooper Codex Viper Chrysalid. Twelve of them. Yeah, we can deal with that. Yeah, I think we'll do this one. Codex Brain Coordinates. For sector four, Chile. Chile? Chile? Come on, man. This should hopefully Commander, we'll need to have, one have of a bit of a blow. Equip the skulljack for use in the field if we're going to make any progress towards our current objective. Right. Okay. So yeah, let's take us about out. Oh, Banzo's wounded for nine days. Us. Right. Okay. So we'll take. Continue instead. She's got the skull jack. We've got a mimic beacon. Lost stock. We've got talon rounds. No, we'll stick blue screen rounds on him. Armor piercing rounds on Sneaky. Selfie's got a med kit. Lostock's got a med kit. Mimic begin. Yeah, I think we're good. We good? We good. Let's try this. I don't know how well this is going to work out. Maybe I should have waited for a uh, Bansaw to be healed up. Nine days seems like a long time considering how light his injuries were last time. I don't remember him being in any danger of, like, dying. And Tyga barely managed to pull these coordinates from that codex thing they had down in the shadow chamber. We're guessing this may be its origin point, but can't know for sure. Based on the fight it put up, I'd expect heavy resistance either way. Good luck down there. Okay, now do we dare Skulljack a codex on this mission? Because it was Skulljacking a officer that got us the codex in the first place. So I would assume that Skulljack and a codex would bring something Target else nasty. Coordinates are just ahead. Move to investigate the site. Hostile presence is currently unknown, but expect the worst. Positions Aren't you a barrel of laughs? Right, okay, what do we got here? We got a large area to play with. Okay. Right, let's move up then and start having a look for things. Got eyes on a hostile squad. Already bloody hell. 
Alright. I'm on the move. Move up here. Can we see any more? Nope. Solid copy. Oh well. Let's get into a position to ambush. Uh, right up up here. Lost stock. Now that puts you in sight. On the move. Let's put you behind Gasparato. Sneaky. Now we can sneaky see from here. No, we can't. We come from here. And lastly, continue. Confirmed. You can go up here and overwatch just in case they happen to spot us. Alright, where are they going? Okay, so the chrysalids are burrowing and moving around. Can we see where they are? No. It's a sneaky... It's, no one has a shot. Bollocks, bloody trees. Okay. Right, two shots from Gaspar. I don't really want to use her, though. I want to keep her in concealment. much in the way of cover down here either. Get one there. Ah, oh, fuck. You know what, right, we're just going to overwatch all. Overwatch. I'm on it. I'm on it. See if they move back. Covering now. Okay. Right, Selfie's got shot. Sneaky. Sneaky still doesn't have a shot. Okay, so Sneaky can. Overwatch. Roger. I've got my eyes on. Selfie, what do you got? 100%, 100%. Excellent. Lost stock, move Position over here. Alright, so Lost stock and Overwatch. Eyes on the prize. In fact, I'll watch the others. Affirmative covering now. Just with there being chrysalids about, I don't want to run the risk of them basically coming back. What's that? That's a chain shot. Take a shot with an AMPELI minus 15. If you hit the target, take another shot of the target. Oh, okay. Use that for big ones. Right. Fire weapon. Oh, in the face! Get in, selfie. Possible intel located. Right. Very nice. How many is that now? Okay, so the chrysalids did not come in running. That's as good. Alright, so going through the window, yep. Yeah. Okay, um. Now I'm gonna go alien hunting. We could go from this direction. Now, this seems like the edge of the map, so we kind of want to be heading towards the center. Alright, that's cool. I can live with that. Moving to position. Right, I'm going to play the old Overwatch game, yep. Yeah. You really take your time moving from place to place, you know that. Roger that! Yep, um... Kinda want the items. Moving to designated position. What do we get? Expand a magazine and a data pad. Why am I on cargo duty? 
Oh, be quiet. Okay, I'll go. Yep. Let's talk down to here. It's sneaky. I kind of feel like Sneaky needs to keep the high ground, but there's high ground over here, so... Yeah, we'll move Sneaky around in this direction. And then we have Continue, who will back up Sneaky. Here I come! Because the height advantage clearly works for her. Okay, free reload, and then Overwatch. Scanning. Got it covered. Overwatch on Lost Dock, and Got Overwatch on Bustle. And there's one of them. Glad I brought some medkits. Good copy, moving on target. Okay, what do we got? See the chrysalids. 95% chance to hit. Worth taking the shot. Come on, Sneaky. You can do it. Oh, he dodged it. Alright. Where is the chrysalid? Move here, do I have a shot? Don't. Moving to position. If I move there and overwatch. On overwatch. Because its next in in instinctual move would be to sprint straight at us. I see I don't want to break cover right now if Watch I can help it. That. With the Rangers. Overwatch. Um, oh god, this is really shitty that I can't move where I want it to be. Moving out. Now we'll move her right up the front. Continue. Let's move already. Move to here. Overwatch. And Overwatch too. Where is it? I see a viper. Interesting. All right, we need to get sneaky up. The viper up here. So I wonder if this seems like an appropriate time to use kill zone. So we'll stick here. Yes, I know you. This is going to be a very Overwatch heavy mission. I'm not on a timer. At least let, let me have my fun with it. Alright, it's burrowed. On my way. Okay, Codex and two Vipers. That Codex provides the ideal opportunity to infiltrate the Advent Network. We will need to move in with the Skulljack to initiate the process. Alright, okay. Well, we're going to bring them in involved, so we're going to lay the kill zone down here. That's affirmative. Bring Butcher up. I'm on it. Yeah, bring Selfie up. Lost stock. I guess ah. that'll be okay. Left him too far behind. Continue up to here. Right, so you're gonna overwatch. We'll not overwatch Butcher, so he can react. Overwatch. 
Watch selfie. Leave Lost Stock as he is. Right. Come on then. <laughs> Very nice. You know that was good. Got it was excellent. Me. She has to find where she is. Can she not actually do anything? What if I just wanted to stay where she no is? Ah, oh, bollocks. Alright, fine. We'll just do a watch all. Oh, they haven't moved where I expected them to. Oh, well, that's disappointing in every way, shape, or form. And a really fucking good waste to kill zone. Move into position. Okay, we we'll butcher up here. No, we can't see anything. What the hell's going on with my tactics today? Trying to be sneaky. Trying to be clever. They won't see a thing. Conceal. On the move. Okay, so now we just... Oh, God, this is getting really confusing. On the move. Alright, we're still flanking one? Why not? Okay, Alright, let's I'll just go. take these on and on as combat. Start off by trying to take out the Viper. If he hits this shot, I'll be very amazed. Damn that dodge. On the margins. <laughs> okay, we're actually in a bit of a rough position here. Continue got the blue screens. No. Here I come. Sixty-four percent chance to hit. But if we hit it'll kill. No. Shit, she's gonna split. And that's fine, you split over there. Right. So we'll chuck that grenade behind us. I killed? But it just teleported, it didn't clone. Oh, that was a waste of a grenade. Uh Right. Oh that was a waste of a conceal as well. But it gets rid of the codex, which is fine by me. So now we just need to so let's uh, move you back into some cover. Uh, we don't. No, oh, we do have combat protocol. Six damage. So that's that would guarantee the kill. Let's see if we can get a kill with Salty though. Nope, that's a miss. Now you do that, but I'm just going to. Uh, combat protocol this one. Then we'll keep the last one in case anything surprising happens to appear. There we go. Marvellous. Right. Okay, so now is the time to move Sneaky up, I think. Move, move, move! 
so he can cover the kind of the next progression. Seems doable. Sparato up. Let's move already. Yeah, the music's flowing. I want to move up as carefully as I can, despite the fact that Heading this out. music makes me want to just go and kick some ass. I'm trusting you here. Credit the soundtrack. The soundtrack is fantastic. Let's move already. This is spread out a bit. And I'll watch. Because I know those chrysalids are going to run in at some point. Marvelous. It's dead. It has to be dead. Well, it is. Right, so there's another one over there. Guardian? What was Guardian again? Uh, right, I'll have a look when I get to him. Finally. Okay, so it looks like we're coming up on some kind of facility thing here. Last stop, right? What was Guardian? With every successful Overwatch shot, there's a 50% chance another shot will be taken. Oh, cool. What's over there? That's what I want you to find out. Okay. Continue. I don't really want to run continue ahead, especially not for half cover. Good to go. I mean, run her up to here for full. There's Gasparato, I haven't moved there yet. I want the available cover in range is taken. Uh, right. Don't want to move too far and trigger something I don't like. Alright then. Right, another chrysalid over there. Whatever you say. Very amiable, isn't she? Here I come. Alright. Moving to position. Okay, so we just move everyone up really casual like be okay. Let's go for a walk in the park on a Sunday afternoon. Might be carrying high-powered plasma weaponry. There we go. Don't you... Fuck. Right. Fuck you. Free action. Cool. Can I... Do I have heal? Yes, I need to heal myself. Get rid of the uh, chrysalid poison. Okay. Overwatch. Sneaky's alright there. We'll overwatch. Let's continue. Alright, bring her back up with the group. And then... Providing there's nothing else kind of hiding around, I'll move Sneaky up to here next turn. Got it covered. Got it covered. Right. Oh, there's another one. Of course that's going to be a miss. It's jumping. Armor's still holding. You didn't hit it. Very nice. Okay, so we're all taking a reload and an overwatch turn. Except Sneaky, oh, yeah. who's going to run up. Come on it. Reload. Let's rock. Moving to Overwatch. Overwatch. Ready to rock. Affirmative, covering now. 
Someone should really do a mod where you can just do an entire squad reload in Overwatch. <laughs> you know, similar to Overwatch all. Where can we get sneaky to? Sneaky to here. And continue. I really need to give her expanded mags. Nope. That'll be another crystal lit up there. Alright, sneaky. Get it done. You're going to come up here and probably trigger whatever's down there. But you need the high ground. Three chrysalids. They're underneath us! God fucking damn it. Okay, this isn't good. Right. <laughs> this is not good in the slightest. Okay, so we're going to chuck a mimic beacon, I think. I'm not sure what we were expecting. What the hell is that? Here, but this I want the same rift the Codex used when it appeared. This thing could lead anywhere. It may not even be pointing at Earth. As with most things, we'll likely need to bring it back to the ship for further examination. Great. That's exactly what I did not want to see. Fucking gatekeep. Fucking surprise gatekeepers. Right. Okay. Okay. How are we going to play this? We can't fire with sneaky. We're going to have to use, definitely have to use the mimic beacon. We can move Lost Stock okay, a little further okay. up and try and hit with Rupture. Not as good a shot, but it helps us in the long run. Okay, ruptured, so we'll take more damage from each shot. That's fine. Um, oh, one tile too far. I'm on it. Right. Okay, so what are we going to... Can we try a chain shot? Fifty-one percent, but we need twenty to twenty-four damage. We hit. Let's try it. Oh! Missed the target. That's annoying. Tired of waiting around. All right, but we can do rapid fire now. On the gatekeeper. Come on, hit both of them. You know you want to. Get in. Oh, please hit the second. Arrgh. Negative damage. Tired of waiting around. That's fine. Because you, continue lovely, are going to do this for me. Six to seven damage. And you are going to, if possible, Grenade! try and take one of them with it. Go on, you can do it. Okay. Does it just buzz so left? Right, let's chuck the mimic. Hopefully, keep the crystal at attention. I don't know how they react to a mimic beacon. Right, we need to heal Sneaky. What are you doing? Oh, this is perfect if they're all attacking that. You absolute beauties. 
you're all in the kill zone. <laughs> Hang on, did I give Sneaky um, multi shot? No. Oh, this is just too good. That's at least one guaranteed dead. Go on, blow up. Right, sneaky with lightning hands. Yep, that's another one. You did, you got it. And then a sniper shot. He's still got the chrysalid poison on him, though. I don't think I've ever actually noticed it on the body before. And death from above. <laughs> A dark doorway. I don't know what I got that for, but alright. Check it before you get too close. Now I am become death. Status confirmed. All hostile Three kills in one turn. Have been eliminated. The Woo! Is secure. Status confirmed. Commander, we've secured the psionic gateway, and recovery teams are en route to the site. Now it's up to Tygen and Shen to figure out what this thing does. Cool. That wasn't quite as hard as I was expecting. I did cock it up slightly in terms of that last set of turns. Continue dealt the most damage, that's because she managed to hit four with one shot. It would have been so good if she managed to kill all four in one turn, though. That would have been just so good. So, so good. I think I need to play this game more, like, record more episodes consecutively, because I feel like I'm, by the time I get back into the swing of it, I'm already done the mission. Maybe if I get a quick Gorilla Ops, I might do another one this episode. Continue to look very happy with myself. So Sneaky's going to be out for a little while with his injuries, though. Then get a chance to heal him. Lost Stock's probably going to be out as well. Yeah, both gravely wounded. No promotions either. We recovered from the field resembles a portal or gateway of some kind. Although we believe it provides the aliens with a means of long-distance travel potentially beyond the confines of our world itself. It will take time before we can truly understand the gateway's function. Based okay, I'll take time. Team witnessed in the field, Commander, it is clear this psionic gateway provides the aliens with some means of far-off travel. It will be up to you to determine not only how it functions, but exactly where this gateway leads. I assume that means we're probably going to have to go through the gateway at some point. Alright, complete the psionic gate shadow In order project. To analyze the alien psionic gateway we recovered, we will need to make the appropriate modifications to the shadow chamber first. Come in. Okay, well, let's just do the psionic gate. I don't know why I'm going to engineering. We want to go back to, um... Right, hang on. How long are people out for now? Uh, advance... No, 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 view soldiers. That's it. Lost Dogs out for nine days. Sneaky's out for eleven days. Bansel's still out for another nine days. And how's my Psylab doing? Oh, Psylab for two days. Alright, we knocked another couple off the Avatar project. The aliens will no doubt have to deal with the loss of this unusual artifact, Commander. I trust you will work to Excellent. uncover its purpose. I'm doing it. Right, we got special... F okay, so we have a few places. We should probably make contact over in West Africa. There's the intel. Yep, yeah, we'll make contact. West Africa. Start getting some of these areas so I can get down towards this facility here. Local, regional contact. 
Okay, Oliver Harris, Psy Operative. New ability stays completely stunned to target for one turn, but renders them immune to any damage or attack on Depending Continue on training. Ask, psionics could be considered the alien's greatest strength. Now our own Psy Operatives can tap into that same power. Okay. Right, so we can do Insanity Inspire or Sustain. So Insanity debilitating telepathic attack that can inflict different negative conditions including mental control of the target. Inspire grant a bonus action immediately to a nearby squad mate. And Sustain. If the Psy Operative takes enough damage to be killed, they are immediately put in stasis for one turn. Their health is only reduced to one HP. That's pretty good. I think we'll choose... Insanity. Can we upgrade it? No, I need 225 supplies and more power. Okay, can you get a nickname yet? Not yet, he needs to level up a bit. That's fine, but he'll become Monk's Boy. Uh, right, up here. Once it's gotten Sonic, then we'll bring him out in the field. Paid to do this. Just casually turning but on a portal. Only one who can pull this off. You know, I'd go myself if I could. The gateway is primed. Is the subject prepared? Ready. I hardwired what was left of the Codex brain into Rover. It should be emitting the same signal the Codex used to pass through the gateway. Excellent. <laughs> That's a real kludge, isn't it? We've already seen the Codex opening a similar rift in the field. I am sure your device will be fine. Rover does not like Tiger. There. We're set to record across all spectrums. Remember, go in, take some quick readings, then come right back through, okay? Now, well, where's he going? Whoa, are you seeing this? It appears our signal has been received. Increasing power. Doesn't look like any place we've been before. Or any place on Earth, for that matter. Perhaps this is the source. The aliens see the power, if you will. Secured beyond any physical limitations. Only one way to find out. Go on. We're counting on you. Go on, Rover. Process did work. There was an instant where the device was in between locations. However, once that occurred, the gateway called for a second signature, an organic signature. When we could not provide one, it generated a sort of feedback pulse. Obviously. If the codex creates the door, this organic signature must surely be the key. Well, we better make sure we have the right key before we try again. I would hate for this to occur to something organic. Agreed. I'll report our findings to the commander immediately. Okay, so now what do we need? This is why we need to skulljack um, the codex. Uh, if you want to read that, you can pause it. I've already read one of these things before. Okay. So I still need to use a Skulljack on a Codex. You know what, I think I'm going to leave this here. I don't think I've got time really to do another one. Then keep it on, well, relatively close to an hour. We'll finish making contacts here. Long live the resistance indeed. We haven't had a retaliation in ages. I keep I must keep putting them back with the actual success. New facility construction three weeks, retaliation six weeks. Yeah, I'll tell you what, I'm going to leave this here for now. So if you enjoyed this, please do leave a like and subscribe. Next time, I'll find some Gorilla Ops to do. And oh, eh, I suppose we'll actually try uh, Skulljack and a Codex. 
So for now, thank you for watching, and good night.